You know, I recently read an article on Yahoo where a group of plastic surgeons explained what they thought the perfect woman was today in 2013. They cited a collection of body parts that were from an assortment of celebrities that they would Frankenstein together to make the ideal woman. It appears what they're saying is that the paragon of womanhood doesn't really exist in the world today. My, how times and opinions have changed because in that same article, it reported that a century ago, there was such a woman. Medical examiners back in 1912 picked a 24-year-old Cornell University co-ed who they said had the ideal body and was the epitome of perfect health. Her name was Elsie Rebecca Scheel. She received worldwide media attention as the example of the perfect woman. Elsie was five foot seven inches tall. She had a bust of 34.6, a waist of 30.6, and hips of 40.4 inches, and weighed in at 171 pounds. In today's language, she would have had a BMI of 27, which is firmly in the overweight category. Today's standards, uh, if we were to follow those, at five foot seven, she should weigh between 118 and 159 pounds. She was nothing like the wafer-thin runway and magazine models that we see today. Interestingly enough, back then, eating disorders such as anorexia and bulimia were unheard of. Some facts about Elsie were that she was never sick or hospitalized. She was a pitcher of health, never took an aspirin or a Tylenol. She ate lightly, only eating three meals every two days. She became a nurse and was always active and athletic. She did eat some meat, but was uh, into avoiding sweets and caffeine. She drove her own car until uh, she was quite old and died suddenly at age 91 of a perforated bowel. She never, even at that point, had taken an aspirin. Today, doctors would tell somebody like Elsie to lose weight and probably put her on some kind of medication, but of course, she outlived all the doctors. A recent study claims that having a slightly overweight BMI may actually lead to a longer and healthier life. The takeaway from this is, though the definition of the perfect 10 changes according to times and cultures, health is independent of fads and fashions. It is the result of good decisions. Elsie Scheel is proof of that.